what is going on guys we are back with another video um, it has been a while since we've made a video but we are going to start off with the GTI um, just a quick little few updates um, we ended up building a carport behind the garage just so we can kind of get all the cars enclosed um, it's hard to kind of see but all the cars um, are all hell damaged and that's why we threw this up uh, we've kind of just been just doing a bunch of other things trying to get all the some of the cars put away but the main point of this video is going to be to actually get a four-speed dog box built for the gti i have been waiting on a part well i haven't been waiting but i've been waiting to order this is all brand new bearings and shims and that's what i've kind of been wanting just to do i uh, wanted to do it right i didn't want to you know skip out on anything so we finally got those ordered and in um, now we can finally grab the gear set out of the back of the car and we have a bunch of other parts we also have a twin disc uh, that's going to go in the gear set and lsd it's just going to be hopefully a transmission that holds up for a while uh, but yeah so basically we can kind of i even have a different um transmission so it is this one right here, um, I don't remember why we took this one apart, but this is just a spare O2J that I had. I don't think that there's any um, bearings, or not bearings, I don't think there's any gears or anything inside of here. So we are gonna be using this one as kind of like the housing for all of the new gears and everything that we're gonna need. So this is kind of already disassembled. I don't need anything that's inside of here. I just need the, you know, the case basically. So we've got that, um, and as of right now, I'm just gonna go grab everything out of the back of the car. I guess just to kind of update you guys, this is the built motor that was in. Um, this is the one that dropped the valve. Basically just all bad news with this motor. Hopefully the bottom end is salvageable. I might have to replace a piston on there, but I'm trying to switch things up and get this built before we try and do another motor. I wanna get the the tranny launches, whatever. I want to get everything solid as far as drivetrain wise. Then we can focus on building a motor once we kind of start limiting our, you know, um, restricting ourselves as far as power wise, which I believe is going to be very soon with the setup that we're getting. So this is where we're going to start. Um, quick little update. We're still working on the Evo. Everything's a mess. The Evo should be having some videos. My dad's car should be having some videos. As you can see, everything just got smashed with hell. We've got plans on fixing all of it. It's just, yeah, just a bunch of money and a bunch of time. But that's where we've been. I'm still here wanting to make videos. Just wanted to give you guys a little quick rundown of where I've been and what's been going on. And I hope to be at least posting a lot more frequent. I love to do a video a week uh, just with work and everything that's going to be a little challenging but i definitely want to kind of make this a, a thing again so with that being said let's get on it and let's get disassembling this transmission So we got it pretty much all cleaned up and power sprayed. I just wanted to get some of the dirt and grime off of it um, Just so we have kind of a fresh Clean surface to work on. We got all that done now um, I'm gonna kind of pull it over to a more dry area and kind of start disassembling getting some stuff off there, so All right guys, so I am just going to um, I'm just gonna disassemble all this. Everything's basically loose. I'm gonna try and organize everything to kind of where it goes. But if you are interested in how one of these um, come apart, I actually have a video um, on installing a Traction Concepts LSD. If you're actually curious on how one of these comes apart, um, and if you are, you can go check that video out. I'm just gonna do this, cut to the scene, and all this is gonna be 
torn apart and kind of ready to go. So um, I'll show you that here in a minute. And just before we start that, I did want to kind of bring you guys over here real quick and show you what we have. Um, these are all the gears, um, the straight cut gears. This is the clutch and the LSD and um, we have all the all the fluids that we need with it. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to kind of show you that. Um, we'll kind of get that put aside and, um, and go from there. All right guys, so we got the tranny all taken apart. Pulling out the um, the diff, I, we can actually hook this up to the actual um, final gear that we're going to be using. Or the, the um, this is the new gear here, um, so we can hook this one up. So we'll get this all bolted together real quick and uh, then show you. All right, guys. So it got a little bit dark, but we finally got the transmission taken apart. Um, as you can see, these are all of the old gears, the diff, everything. Um, here's the the housing for both. Um, I'm going to have to pull out both of the races for the bearings um, and actually on the top as well and I wanted to show you guys all of this as it's out of the box now this is basically a full rebuild kit um, I've got literally everything every seal bearing um, and I even got all this the diff shims so we need to measure all the slop and make sure that the diff is actually shimmed correctly and this is also what I wanted to show you I know I showed you guys right before we threw the gear on there but this is the M factory LSD with um, the brand new uh, ring gear on there. So all we have to do is basically pull the uh, speed sensor gear off and then we could put uh, press in the actual um, bearing itself. That is all done. Um, I don't know how far we're going to get tonight or um, even today, but we, we might s transition from another video. All this is basically just garbage now. Um, we won't need anything with any of those gear sets. Um, and like I said, we'll just need the housings from both of it. And the one nice part that I was kind of talking about was we won't ha So this outside is actually your fifth gear or your final, however. Um, and with the new gear set um, in here, as you can see, there is no fifth anymore. So we'll just have our first, second, and uh, first, second, third, and fourth. And that's what it's going to be. I think it should be. Um, I actually got this from Mike over at SP Parts Direct. He sold this to me used, um, and I guess he's ran um, some, some pretty quick times with this and even fast enough. I don't think I'll ever um, necessarily max it out in, in a quarter mile. So, and if I do, I can always upgrade to a fifth later down the road. But those are the gears. We would be able to slap everything together, but we have a lot of pulling out the, the old races and pressing everything back in. That's the only time consuming part with everything. Um, but like I said, I am really happy that we're not going to have to be dealing with that outside gear anymore. It's just going to be quick to easy, quick and easy to work on and hopefully kind of just speed things up if we ever have to, you know, pull anything apart in the track or whatever. So, um, but yeah, like I said, well, I just want to kind of give you guys a little update where we are and um, kind of go from there. We are actually still using um, the stock, um, what is it, shifter forks. Um, there are an upgraded little bearing that you can install in the insides. I was uh, just speaking with some people that, you know, I guess they're, they're running quick enough times and everything holds together. So I'm gonna leave all of that as is. Uh, I guess that's just kind of not a component that needs to be replaced. Um, it is a little bit of a mess and we'll kind of probably get rid of some parts here in a few minutes and kind of um, continue on with the, the video, so. All right, what's going on guys? We are here the next day. This is kind of where we ended off last night. We kind of, I don't know if I really went through it all. We popped some of these races out, others we didn't. Um, I know we still got to pop out two of these, um, if it focuses. Um, we'll have to pop both of those out. Um, basically just kind of start popping out all the bearings and all the races and everything else so we can get ready to start to install the new ones. We'll have to install those measure everything, then pull everything back out, which is a little bit nerve wracking. But once we pull all that out, we should have the measurement and what we need to uh, to install the shim. All right, guys, so kind of change of plans. We um, figured out some things that I, I wasn't kind of planned for, but it's not the end of the world. So this set of gears, um, this is where it connects um, here on the transmission. I don't know if you guys can kind of see it, but there's this little ridge in here. And it actually, um, it slightly hits that ridge right there. So 
I'm gonna take it down, kind of talk them through it, and I'm just gonna kind of take you guys down with me, and hopefully we can get all this figured out real quick and kind of just continue with the build, so. All right, guys, so we are back. This is actually the third day. Um, I know the video's kind of been jumping around a little bit, but we finally found a place that, if I can show you, that clearance, that bottom gear, nobody really wanted to mess with it, but it's all done now, and um, Hopefully from here on out we can kind of just slap everything together and not have to clearance anything anything more. Um, I do have to clean the inside of it just because there's just some metal shavings here and there that we were um, grinding out. Just want to make sure everything's nice and clean for it. But just wanted to show you guys that. So this set of gears are in. Now we can hopefully start kind of focusing on making sure everything's shimmed correctly and just kind of continue putting everything back together. So as you can see, we've got the gear in there now and everything spins just nice and free. Everything cleared nice, so that's super nice. Um, now all we're gonna have to do is start kind of, start shimming some stuff and kind of bolt things together, make sure everything works and fits. Uh, so that means we're gonna have to press that one in there now and start kind of measuring out and seeing how things are going. GTI all set up. We're gonna just kind of get this. It shouldn't take super long. Um, I did, what's it called? I did go ask a couple more questions um, just on, you know, who I got the parts from and all that. Had a, had a couple few questions, uh, nothing too crazy, but everything should be, should be good for the most part. Um, I do want to get that gear selector out of the other transmission and put it in here just so I can shift through all the gears, make sure everything's spinning freely because as of right now, I actually can't check and make sure everything's spinning freely without um, the, the gear selector. So we'll get that out. But um, as of right now, we're just gonna pull this one out and um, yeah, just get to work on this one. All right guys, so we have um, the transmission out and this is the old, just like a cheap stage three clutch. Um, we're getting this out and then we're actually going to um, install the new twin disc um, from Clutch Masters. And uh, we actually have to disassemble the uh <clears throat> the built transmission um it's not one to engage in reverse which is all right we uh we just didn't have the selector to actually test it so we're going to figure that out real quick and then hopefully um put everything kind of like this standard kind of single disc clutch not too bad wearing I guess for a cheaper cheaper clutch it's not too bad but yep all right guys so this is the clutch masters um, twin disc I'm not sure the exact um, model number on it, but um, yeah, you could contact Mike over at SB Parts Direct. He's, he's got everything on his website. Um, we'll just kind of get a good look at it here in a minute. So there it is right there. So it's the 725 series Clutch Masters. Um, so we'll get this thing all unbolted and get a good look at all the disc, make sure everything stays stays in order we'll get this flywheel bolted on real quick and this is just i mean this probably weighs the same if not a lot lighter than that um let me see because i think it's a yes it is way lighter than than that one so this is basically a lot a lot more and in, in less weight so that's pretty nice so yeah we'll get all this taken off and bolted on real quick all right guys so i have all of the uh 
pressure plate right here, unbolted. I'm just gonna kind of set everything um, in the correct order on how everything bolts in um, right over here. I'm gonna try and get, or not get my, uh, any grease on like the clutches or the, I guess we'll slide that down a little bit. To the side and um, we'll bolt this flywheel up. And um, I would just kind of wipe off the surface with like an out, some alcohol or something, just kind of get all the oils and um, kind of like debris off of there. So we'll do that real quick. And I did want to point out that we are using um, some ARP uh, Pro bolts and um, all of these, they do just require like a, uh, a thread locker. And then we're gonna torque all these down to uh, 85 foot pounds. So um, just make sure you kind of torque everything um, kind of like a, in a, a staggered order so it kind of bolts down correctly. But we'll apply some thread locker to it real quick and try and get all this torque down. So uh, yeah, just kind of stay tuned for that. So as you can see, this is your um, reverse gear right here. Uh, I seen a video online where um, he kind of bent up this lever right here. Uh, I think ours is fine as far as that is. The only thing that uh, we had an issue with was this fork over here was actually kind of interfering with this gear set, but just a little bit of clearance on the grinder and, um, and it kind of just straightened everything up. So that all shifts like normal now. Um, yeah, that actually does. Yeah. Oh, you're looking at it right <laughs> uh, Yeah, everything else should be should be good as far as that's concerned. Um, but yeah, so hopefully we have the uh, transmission going back together here soon and in the car. Okay. I'll get it started. All right, guys. So. Everything is done. Um, we didn't record every single part, but it's just a basic transmission install. Um, clutch is in, everything feels fine. So this is actually, the, I guess, the, the true first startup. So hopefully everything goes smooth. We did tighten up that bolt where the uh, fluid went in. Yeah, I tightened the shit over, yeah. My understanding, I, I know that I think they're supposed to be like noisier transmissions, so we'll let some of the oil kind of work in there for a minute and uh, try and shift it through some gears and we'll kind of get back on the video with you guys. All right, guys, so we did make it back. Um, the ride, the, the ride was interesting. Um, it was, here, let, let me, let me set you guys up real quick. All right, guys, so I hope you can hear me. Okay, I'm just gonna try and do it this way just so that we kinda got a view of it, but we went for the test drive. Um, I'm not gonna show you guys the test drive this video. I'm actually gonna show it to you next video. I kinda wanted, um, I thought it was gonna be too long of a video that way. Um, but it went smooth, I will say, the whole first half. Trying to trying to quickly shift, I guess, I, my, my, my understanding of it was a little bit different. It's probably gonna be a little bit cringy, just for those out there that already know how to drive um, with the dog box. I mean, like I said, I've watched videos and that's all I've ever, you know, I've never even been in a car that had a dog box. Uh, but I kind of got the, the hang of it there at the end. I will say I need to set up a strain gauge in the shifter and I need to have uh, Steve, um, my tuner actually shift some kind of a cut, whether that be ignition, I mean, I'm, I think it is an ignition cut, but that way when you pull the strain gauge, it'll actually, where you don't have to lift off your throttle to shift because I think there's so much load on the um, on the actual uh, like the, the, the shifter um, like where it actually shifts to the next gear. That being said, like I said, it's I, I was still clutching it the whole time. I wasn't actually you know um, flat foot shifting. I, I tried and it's just 
Yeah, but then I was way, I, I kept even trying to way over shift, which is kind of dangerous as well because you can bend, in, bend your forks. So that's not good as well. But hopefully everything, um, hopefully everything's all right. We came back. We had a little scare. I thought it was with the transmission. It turned out to not be the transmission. It was actually the motor. And just to let you guys know, this is a bone bone stock VR6 12 valve. There's nothing built in here. Um, no head spacer. No nothing. And it makes 500 and 530 horsepower. Um, just like I said, uh, bone stock motor. Nothing built inside of it. I I do need to rebuild my other motor. But with that being said, you know everything. I wanted to get everything drivetrain wise solid as of you know as of this. So. It seemed to have been doing all right.